are you being consistent? That is the number one tell about whether you're ready for a team or not. You might think you're not being consistent with your show, meaning you're not publishing regular episodes on a regular schedule because you don't have a team, but that's actually not true. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this video in a show host series. I'm Christine Baird, owner of Worthful Media. We're in Worthful Studios, our studio in Salt Lake City. And I want to talk about something that I literally had a conversation with a friend about the today, and it's what to do when you're a brand new show host and you know, you're not ready to invest big time or even first level with an agency or with a team to produce your show. So this video is all about like how to make really strategic decisions about what you can do on your own in your show production that will take the minimal amount of time to get the best result without hiring an agency or a team. And you might be like, Christine, why would you do this? You literally own an agency. Like, don't you want people to hire you? Of course, I want people to hire Worthful Media when they're ready. And I always start off with this with every person I talk to, everyone who gets referred to me. The first conversation we always have is like, tell me about where you're at. What's the history of your show? Where are you at? What's your struggle? What's your joy? And what do you want to be different? Because as a producer of podcasts and YouTube shows for personal brands, I know that the show host is a personal brand who already has a lot going on. They're running a business. They have many other priorities. Oftentimes they're writing books and speaking and traveling and coaching. And so being a show host is just one of the things they need to be worried about. And usually people end up being referred to me because they're ready to upgrade some kind of production quality. It doesn't mean they're ready to hire an agency. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I told this friend this morning about how to understand if you're ready to hire a team to produce your show versus maybe you just need a few upgrades of tools so that you can keep doing a DIY production, a done for yourself production for a little bit longer. Obviously the goal is that every show does so well that you hire a team and an agency and it's amazing. And this is Max. Do you want to come make a cameo? <laughs> He's a little camera shy. This is our new foster dog. Little Bear, the other foster dog, got adopted. It's very happy. Maybe Max will come make more of an appearance. So here's what I told this friend this morning and what is really helpful if you're trying to figure out, do I just need a few tool adjustments to keep my DIY production going strong or do I need to hire an agency or at the very minimum, a team member to do this for me? So first off, are you being consistent? That is the number one tell about whether you're ready for a team or not. You might think you're not being consistent with your show, meaning you're not publishing regular episodes on a regular schedule because you don't have a team, but that's actually not true <laughs> for most people. If you can be consistent by yourself, it is proving the point that you're ready to have an agency takeover. If you can't hit a consistent publishing, publishing schedule by yourself, there's other things that are a priority to you and the show just isn't a big enough one. So pouring more money into it will likely not fix the problem of your priorities. And I'm not saying your show needs to be a big priority. This might be feedback for you. Like I'm not ready to be a show host right now. So I'm just going to sunset or hiatus my show until I'm ready to be consistent with it. Does that make sense? It doesn't mean hundred percent of the time because you haven't been consistent, you're not ready to be a show host, but like, it's a pretty good tell for a lot of people. So first one, are you being consistent? If you're not being consistent, like if you just put a few episodes out here and there and you, you know, try and get it together and you do three weeks and then you don't, it's a really great opportunity to look at the next question and be like, okay, I'm not being consistent. Let me think about why. And then I'll ask, well, what is the biggest time suck for you that holds you back from being consistent? Cause it's usually a matter of time or energy, which is kind of the same thing for a personal brand. Um, it's usually not about like what you might think. So if they say, well, editing takes so long, like, of course that totally is normal. So we could either outsource that to an agency, or we could use a different tool that kind of does your editing for you. The artificial intelligence tools that are coming out are getting so much better at editing. So there's a lot of good options there. Um, let's say you haven't been consistent because you're really struggling to come up with content ideas or finding guests 
Well, that's again, that's like a different problem that hiring an agency won't necessarily fix, right? Maybe you need to kind of come back to the intention of the show and think about what the ROI is and how it connects to your brand. And is the content I'm trying to make actually going to fuel my business? Because if so, I can probably sit down right now and jot 20 episode ideas down that I know will directly funnel into my business based on the frequently asked questions I get, what people want to know from me before they hire me. If you're having trouble booking guests, maybe it's a sign that you're either going after the wrong kind of guest, you're maybe better suited to a solo show, or perhaps you're better suited to do a seasonal show where you just do a few guest episodes at a time because they take a long time to book, and then you can do them really well and produce them at a higher level. So the second question, like what is the big roadblock keeping you from being consistent, that will usually help you figure out very quickly, like, okay, there are some things I can tweak already before (laughs) hiring a team that will make this show go in a new way. Okay. So once you've answered those two questions, depending on your answers, then you have a much better idea. Like, do I actually need to hire an agency or do I just need some new tools? If you need new tools, leave a comment in the video and let me know specifically what kind of recommendation you're looking for. If you're looking for a recording software an editing software, a software that does show notes, like tell me what your problem is and I can recommend some great tools. And I love recommending tools because they can save so much time and it might save you a ton of money if you're not ready to hire an agency and you still want to do your own show. So, I mean, just this morning, a couple I recommended were Riverside for video recording, hosting, and editing. They've come out with some really great editing tools this year. I recommended Podflow for AI-generated show notes and transcripts. I recommended Alitu for some kind of automatic podcast editing. Um, These are just a few of the many, many, many good tools. And so if you've just not been able to find a tool that works for you, like hit us up in the comments. That's what I'm here for. All right, that's a beginning of trying to figure out whether or not you should hire an agency or just upgrade your production process for your DIY show. Let's say you know you're ready to hire an agency. Your answers to these questions were, I've been super consistent and the biggest time suck is I literally don't have the bandwidth to do anything else besides record the show, but I I have guests, I have content, I'm consistent, like everything's firing and I don't even have time to use a third party tool to make my show. Like I am ready for an agency. Well, that's what we do. So in that case, once you're clear, like I need to hand this off to a team who knows exactly what they're doing. I don't need to learn any more tools or software. I'm being consistent. I'm doing my part. Then it's a great time to call a producer. I mean, obviously you could call me, you can send me an email, Christine at worthfulmedia.com. But it's also, if for some reason you're in another part of the country, the world, and you want somebody local or somebody that has worked with people, you know, start asking your friends and be like, Hey, you guys, I'm ready to hire a production team, a producer, a podcast management service. All those terms are the same. And then your friends will give you great recommendations. And that's usually how we get clients is just our clients and our friends refer people to us. So just start asking your network. You can obviously shoot me an email. And, um, if we realize like we're not the best fit for you, I can totally recommend some other agencies, but that is when you're ready to hire an agency. Most of the time, these are again, general guidelines. There's always exceptions, but if you realize after watching this video, like, okay, I am being really consistent. I've got my flow down. I'm doing good content. I just need someone else to handle everything and I don't have time to hand, you know, learn any more DIY tools. And it's time to hire an agency or a team member. And that's what we're here for. So I'll wrap it there for today. Hopefully this was insightful. Obviously you can shoot me an email. As I said, if you want to hop on the phone and chat about how we can help or where you're at. Um, also if you're just trying to figure out what type of show host you naturally are, and you're like, I don't even know if the show I'm doing is the show I should be doing. Uh, we have a free quiz that I talk about often because I want you to use it. And the link is below in the video. And that's where you can take a literally 30 second quiz that I wrote to figure out, are you a solo type of show host? Are you a curator type of show host? Or are you a maven type of show host? And each of those is a different skill set, and it will suit you really naturally or it won't. So if you're looking for kind of just more general guidance about like, I don't even know if the show I'm making is the show I should be making. Start there. The link is below and I'll see you in the next video.
everybody's going to want to see you because you're so handsome. This is Max. He just wanted to say hi at the end because he's such a good boy. And he's available for adoption in Salt Lake City. Huh. <laughs> he's a big kisser. <laughs>